Hello everyone, this is Yong from Your Korea Friend. Are you looking for information about public transportation at night because you arrived late at Internet Report? Or do you want information on night public transportation in Seoul? These are some most frequently asked questions I get. I arrive at Incheon Airport late night. How do I get to Seoul? How do I move around at night? There may be times when you must take public transportation late at night or when you need information in advance to plan your trip. So today, I'm going to tell you about taking public transportation at night. Video is divided into three parts from Incheon Airport in Seoul using map application. Let's go over it. From Incheon Airport I have explained information related to Incheon Airport in this video, so please watch this for more info and details. I'll only go over late night information in this video. If you want to get from Incheon Airport to Seoul at night, there are four options. First option is using RX, which is an airport railroad. There are rapid trains that goes from Incheon Airport Terminal 2 to Terminal 1 and then to Seoul Station, and a regular train that stops in every station that lies in RX line. The time of the last train for these trains are like this. To get on the last train safely, you may need around 2 hours or less before the last train time. It really depends on how quickly you pass immigration and how quickly you pick up your luggage but to be safe, estimate around 2 hours. If you arrive later than the last train time, you will need to choose another option. This timetable shows first and last train time from Seoul Station to Incheon Airport. If you are looking for more information regarding RX, please watch this video. Next option is Taxi. Taxi is an only option which is independent from time. There are many taxis that are waiting at Incheon Airport, so you can move to Seoul anytime you arrive. However, there is a late night surcharge at night, so the fare is a bit higher. Fare might increase up to 40%. There is 20% late night surcharge between 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. From 11 a.m. to 2 a.m., the late night surcharge is 40%. The fare is usually 55,000 won from Incheon Airport to Seoul Station, but the late night surcharge it could go up to 66,000 won or 77,000 won depending on time. The fare might be affordable if you can split the cost with your friends or family, but if you are taking a taxi alone, the price might be too much. So check out next option if you want something more affordable. Also, if you want to know more about taking a taxi, watch this video. Uh, third, late night bus. Since last month, the late night bus at Incheon Airport has resumed operating. From Incheon Airport Terminal 2, there is a bus N6002 to Seoul Station. And from Incheon Airport Terminal 1, there is a bus N6001 to Seoul Station or a bus N000 to Gangnam Express Bus Terminal. These buses only go to Seoul Station or Express Bus Terminal, so you must plan how to get to your final destination from these stops. I'll tell you about late night transportation in Seoul later in this video. From Terminal 2, you can get on the bus at the 24th stop on the first basement floor. From Terminal 1, you can get on the bus at the 6A stop on the first floor. Check out the Incheon Airport walking tour video to see where the bus terminals are in each terminal. The price is 10,000 won for adults and 8,000 won for children between the ages of 6 and 12. The tickets can be only be paid in cash or by a transportation car upon boarding, so have them ready. Each line only runs twice during the night, so check out the time. Buses also stop at these subway stations on the way. Check to see if your destination is near these stations. The last option is to just stay at airport. If the three options I have mentioned don't work for you, you will have to spend time at the airport. You can book a hotel nearby or a capsule hotel inside the airport. I stayed in capsule hotel once last time because my flight time was in early morning. Uh, it was comfortable but the price was a bit expensive. It was almost the same as the taxi fare to Seoul Station. So unless you prefer to move in the morning, you can take a taxi instead. I'll leave a webpage link for the capsule hotel in the comment section. Also, I spent 6 hours 
at the airport once during the COVID-19. I rested on a bench and sat in a cafe. It was uncomfortable but still doable. So if you think the taxi fare is expensive or can't take the late night bus, then I think you can wait for the first RX train at the airport. By the way, if you want to know about late night intercity bus, use neighbor map to check. If there is no intercity bus, then wait at the airport and take the first bus. Next, let's look at night transportation in Seoul. The subway ends between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Keep this in mind if you are planning to go somewhere at night. First option is taxi. With taxi, you can travel whenever, but as I have mentioned earlier, the price is higher because there is a late night surcharge. A 20% late night surcharge is added from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. and from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. From 11 a.m. to 2 a.m., 40% surcharge is added. Also, there is one more thing you should know. Uh, taking a taxi late at night is not easy. The reason is that many taxi drivers want to take passengers who go a certain distance because they say they don't make much money during the day and the only time they can make money is at night when there is a late night surcharge. So that's why they refuse some passengers but try choosing customers who go a certain distance that could help them earn some money. So if the destination is close or too far to get back, then there is a high possibility that you will not able to catch a taxi. Last time I tried to take taxi with an app to go about 10 minutes by car at night, but I wasn't unable to get any taxi because taxi drivers canceled my request. My friend was not able to get one because the destination was too far away. So there is a possibility that you can grab a taxi. It will be more difficult to grab a taxi without using an app because the drivers tend to take customers who uses the app because driver can see the destination beforehand. So use the app for convenience. By the way, there are very few drivers who might bump up the price at night. So use the app to prevent getting ripped off. Second. Late night bus. In Seoul, there is a late night bus called Owl Bus. There are 14 lines in total. The time interval varies depending on the line, but it is about 20 to 40 minutes apart. The late night bus can only be paid with transportation card or cash, just like regular buses. However, there are many buses these days that do not take cash, so have a transportation card such as T-Money. Operating time for late night buses vary by region, but mostly they run between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. If you want to know in advance before going out, use the map applications to find out if there is any late night bus in your desired time. If you find these two methods difficult, then just enjoy the nightlife until the first metro or bus next morning. Many people do this waiting for the first metro or bus next morning because the taxi fare is expensive at night. Public transportation starts to run in between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. By the way, there are no late night buses in other cities other than Seoul at the moment, so taxi is your only option. Map apps. In the comment, I get a lot of questions about how to get from Incheon Airport to this place or that place and which transportation to take. Well, I can look up every location to answer all the questions, so I'll show you how to search for your own. So this time, I'm going to show you how to use the map applications to find your ways at night if there is any or your ways in certain days so that you can plan your trip. Most of you have probably used Google Maps and know this already. This is a way to find out directions by searching in advance in a certain date. First, open neighbor map, press the menu, and there is directions. Go here and search for your own departing location. For example, let's choose Incheon Airport Terminal 2. Now search for the destination. Let's input Myeongdong Station. Then the result comes out like this. Let's change the time here to find out if there is any public transportation in your desired time. For example, let's select 1 a.m. on May 1st to see if there is any late night transportation. From the result, you can check the fastest departing time and arrival time once you click the route. In this case, 
The arrival time is before morning, which means that there is late night transportation. Let's try an intercity route as an example this time. Busan Station. Change the time to late night like before. If you look at the result, it says to take KTX, which means there is no late night intercity bus. KTX only runs in the morning. If you change the time to 11 p.m., for example, you can see that there is a late night intercity bus. So if you are planning to travel intercity at night, then check like this to look for intercity bus. Or you can go on a website to see if there is any late night intercity bus. As I mentioned earlier in the Incheon Airport part, uh, you can go to the bus terminal at each airport terminal to purchase a ticket to get on board. If you are planning to use late night bus, I recommend using both neighbor map and Kakao map. I have recently noticed that sometimes neighbor map says there is no bus, but Kakao map has bus information or vice versa. So it's good to check both. It's not easy to take public transportation at night, but recently as the COVID-19 has eased, late night buses are resuming to run and many transportation has expanded their operating time. So information may change as more of transportation hours expands. So use neighbor map or Kakao map to search public transportation information. This is it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a like to this video and please leave a comment to support us and subscribe our channel for more Korea travel tips. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.